Hello, welcome to Mystery of Psychology, the mystery of psychology you have never known. Before we start, I want to ask you about something. Do you know about hypnosis? What is hypnosis? Today, we r e gonna present about hypnosis. Hypnosis is an outer state of consciousness. It happens when a state of mind is achieved in which suggestion alters someone's awareness, memory, or thinking in a way that the hypnotized person responds to alter alteration as if it were reality. It's done with a specific clear short-term aim to get the bottom of something that the patient is not able to bring to mind or. To consciously stop doing, hypnosis is not a form of sleep, but of concentration that bypasses the usual critical or evaluative activity of the mind to get to underlying matters. The patient becomes much more open to suggestion and guides them, not so much a loss of control as an openness. Agreeing to what someone else is suggesting. Most of study present about 25% of people can be easily hypnotized, while about 20% does won't allow it. You can tell if someone is easily hypnotizable by how easily suckered they are. Or how quickly they go along with whatever someone tells them to do. The hypnotizable person is more often that one who gets totally caught up in a TV show or in a movies. They can block off what's happening around them, suspend their disbelief, and alter into the story as if it were real. And is it happening? In that present, about the hypnotic effects, critical thinking is present within the hypnotic state, but is blanketed out, not acted upon. We do just blanketing without hypnotism. For instance, while having fun in friendship, in sports. Or on retreats, but those forms of blanketing are done with safety nets, like uh, science, uh, the scripture, or listen to feedback from other people. Use of means of discern and hard thinking about uh, beforehand. Hypnotism sets the nets aside for a short while. An effect much like waking is trance logic, where real and hallucination c o s e t as equal. If asked to say which object is real, the hypnotic person can usually tell the difference, but the difference doesn't matter to them. Under a trance, they all deal with the real and the unreal in the same way. There are some who f e a r that modern life is starting to resemble trance logic. To many author, the different doesn't matter. Those who were in very deep state of hypnosis sometimes report that they can remember anything that happened, even when given simple reminder. But this is rare and only in the deepest of hypnotic states. Other than in those deep cases. The patient remember what happened once r e m i n d even if told not to remember. The patient remembering often become an important part of treating their mental disorder. Hypnotherapy helps them to know what they otherwise would not consciously remember, so they can come to terms with it. The focus it takes to stay in a hypnotic state can be harnessed. For recovery from certain behavior, for mental illness or addiction. The ancient of many lands used simple technique of including the trance state 
especially in India, first year and middle or fourth year, they usually use it on themselves, bought on by her products. And usually with our mysteries, window dressings, some popular ligands cover it in terms of the image of the magic spell. The common element there is that hypnotism lies a false spell. Typically involves spoken words with the influence someone behavior. Hypnotism was introduced to popular culture by Austrian pseudoscientist Franz Anton Mesmer. Mesmer's field that of magnetism and electricity was the alchemy of his day. He believed that the hypnotic state was an effect of magnetism on the fluid of the body and set up some very hockey demonstration that for a while seemed to have trendy Paris. Well, Mesmer, right? Mesmer demonstrations were quickly picked up by magnetizer, mostly occultists and entertainment magicians, because people found it so interesting. So that hypnotists are still popular today, often wrapping it in the still hockey trapping of magic. True, Mesmer magnetic theories were being disproved. His fame caused scientists today the ph phenomenon he was pointing to. In 1842, English eye scientist James Brett gave it the name hypnosis. From the Greek word for sleep, Charles Martin Charcot brought it to modern investigative scientific study, and Yale professor Clark Howe worked in the uh, 1930. This much to develop a scientific understanding of it. Today, the study of hypnosis is closely tied into brain science. Science the hypnotic state change the way the brain processes information. It teaches scientists about the patterns of certain activity in the brain when matched to the modern technologies for brain scans. Most noteworthy are the change in the way the anterior cingulate cortex operate. Specific about this are still unclear. Hypnosis is used medically for many things. Studies say that it were visionary well from one case noisy and state relaxed body syndrome to the magic some step for addictive behavior, three, kissing pain from small infection, boys, or back wicked and hand for cancer or user, three, four, reducing the done for pain sleep, that use from class for soy pants, like say pan from the back or of many my sinai here or that job. Five kids thought who regrets or go back the go back to behaviors from their side food. See short term concentration on one specific thing then assisting regret or hidden memory is in pants is my on and off or on only a small proportion of papers from one managed Several, several behavior caused by depression and some other mental di disorder to immediate or immediate or short term relief from the plans of immediate here then to manage it moderate to strong fear and anxiety 
working on broad syndrome and statinoid behavior for criteria try criteria kit of low study and memorization spy relation and stress management a and d please remember then on the case of subject we point in the popular place entertainment media work on more work of more paramono paramo block and promotional material uh, as more sway and and to fall is somewhere Hypnotic therapies more controversial use is on repeat memory. Hypnotherapy works and work well. By bypassing the methods we use on ourselves for stiffing a painful or traumatic incident or accident. Once the incident comes out, both patient and therapist can work on it. But those inner controls are there for good lessons and often hypnosis simply bypasses their listen when it bypasses the controls in the hands of careless or unscrupulous therapists or untrained self-appointed hypnotists for memories are create or exciting fantasy are mistaken for reality this can be as word and ufo abductions and body snatching spirit or as serious and false accusation of sodomy and sexual attack. In such case, the false memories added another trauma to the pill the patient already has. The most leaky situation is when someone who thinks they know what they are doing says something which triggers the subject's active phobia. The clinical use of hypnosis in medicine is as a means of uh, making hypnotic suggestion. Some people love to give orders, but most of us communicate what we want done by suggesting and asking. Direct commands tend to be elicited. Uh, so, hypnotists often use indirect suggestion technique to communicate what they seek from the patient. This allows more space for the patient to enter to the process themselves, so they can trust it more. <laughs>